what is going on you guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new and you've never seen my face before hi my name is ash and this is my channel living ash what is up what is up you guys i am sitting down and filming this video because i want to get it up to you right now today is thursday creed 3 is coming out tonight so i'm going to the premiere i'm a huge creed fan so let me know if you guys are going to go see that i'm going to be talking to you guys today about some of the new things that are out in the store it's kind of like a pr box unboxing kind of like because i have so much pr but for you guys this is going to be super helpful because i'm going to be able to show you guys some of the new products that are out and you might find something that you may want to try now there's so much hype on the internet there's so many things that are just coming out daily i almost cannot keep up and i thank you guys so 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 much because you guys are the ones that put me on to some of the best products and i appreciate that so you guys do for me as i do for you we're a family over here and if you are new to the channel make sure you subscribe become part of the family we actually hit 90 3,000 subscribers as we speak so thank you guys so much for that we're on the road to 100k and it's gonna be a huge celebration for that and I'm so so grateful give the video a thumbs up comment down below let me know that you are here now before I get into all of the products and there is so much right here next to me that it's actually um a little crazy I'm like oh my goodness I'm overwhelmed let's talk about my scent of the day which is so important because you guys get to know what I'm wearing and I want to know what you guys are wearing as well so pause the video right now let me know what you're wearing and I'm gonna share with you what I have on today I actually got this at a uh, I think this was a Saks off fit okay this is the Marc Jacobs oh so sweet this is such a beautiful fragrance. It's so sweet. It's one of those really girly, vibrant, upbeat fragrances that if you don't have it, you might want to get your hands on it. Now, I don't feel this fragrance is for everybody, but if you really like those girly, sweet fragrances, this one is going to be your best bet. Now, for me, I got this one because I actually purchased this in the big bottle and the bottle I'll put it here is beautiful I purchased that as a gift for my mom I believe it was for like Mother's Day or her birthday and I found myself going into her room at times and I was like uh spraying it all over me and she'd be like stop put my perfume down but I just loved it and I was like why don't I have this for myself I realized that I do that a lot I buy a lot of things for other people that I don't have for myself and then I'm like what the heck like I need this in my life so I got the little one because I really don't need a big bottle I try not not to collect super big bottles nowadays because I have so many fragrances and I don't get through them all so this one is super cute and I love it and it smells so good and the longevity is definitely there with this fragrance especially from certain Marc Jacobs fragrances that I do have in my collection they have been known to like just not last on me so with this one right here I would recommend you buying this one and it is so pretty and I do feel it's very unique I do not smell this on a lot of people all right so now that we've got SOTD out the way let's get into some of the juicy fun stuff and I was so excited when I got this NPR because tree hut actually teased us a little bit um, with this release especially us creators they sent us a loofah and a rag right kind of like saying coming soon and I was just like very curious as to what it was gonna be and I got these two boxes from them I'm like trying to be able to fit it all in the frame but Tree Hut released body washes. So now I'm gonna tell you this, right? Tree Hut is a great brand. Their scrubs are impeccable. I feel like if I just, you know, think about scrubs and all the scrubs I've used over time, Tree Hut has become one of the ones that I just always buy and they've become a staple part of my routine. So let's talk about some of the new body wash that they have and the scents that they actually released as well. One, the box is very cute. It says a new way to enjoy your new favorite scent. They're hydrating oil complex with avocado, kiwi, orange oils, um, and antioxidants and moisturizing properties. This one is watermelon. This is the foaming gel wash. So I'm assuming in the shower, this is gonna give you that really nice lather. I love how big the bottles are. Now, I don't know the prices of these. I'm gonna put them on the screen so that you can see it. But for the price, hopefully it's a good deal. Um, this one is supposed to be a very sweet, juicy, plumping watermelon. It has niacinamide. This is perfect, of course, to layer with that body scrub. They do have the watermelon scrub, which isn't my favorite, but uh, I love the vitamin C. The vitamin C is really nice. and this one 
one obviously has uh, vitamin C and alpha hydroxy acid and this one actually helps to brighten and tone the skin. I love how big these are. If you're a fan of Tree Hut, I would say definitely get them. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the body butters from Tree Hut, but I do have the one in vanilla. Um, and that one I really, really like. So I'm going to try to see if I can smell these. Right, going in for the vitamin C smell test. Ooh, this one's really, really fresh and clean. Mmm, I like this. And I think I've had a Tree Hut body wash in some form before but I could be wrong I feel like they had one in like the Brazil nut scent but I really like vitamin C this might be one of my favorites we also have watermelon which I told you guys I don't love in the scrub I'm just not a huge watermelon girl I even I don't even like the watermelon candle from Bath and Body Works I don't know it's just not my fave I'm using my mouth to open these so it's like but ooh. This is definitely that really artificial smelling watermelon. So if you like that, this is going to be your best bet for sure. Now we have another box and this one came a little after the first one that I showed you. And I think this one is the most exciting for me. Ooh, I love, uh, Tria just does its thing with the packaging and the PR. But one of my favorites from Tree Hut is the Tropic Glow. Now I love the Tropic Glow because it has a shimmer to it. The Tropic Glow body scrub is perfect for summer. It's very beautiful. Um, and this one is like gonna be my favorite now. So this one is actually meant to firm and tone. This one has guarana extract, pistachio oil, I'm gonna say. And then another word, I just can't pronounce that one. So the pistachio is something I love because it does remind me of this Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream, right? So I'm gonna smell this one and see how I like like it. I just love that there's this little added shimmer. I think I'd use this one more for, you know, when I'm going out, like a night out type vibe, because when I use my shimmering stuff, baby, I really want you to see me. Like, I need you to see my skin glowing and shining. The scent on this is beautiful, and this is going to layer so perfectly with so many of my perfumes that I love, and Tropic Glow might be number one. Like, I might go for this, then Vitamin C, because... I mean, and look how much comes in the bottle, you guys. This is insane. Now, we have strawberry, which when strawberry came out, I was really excited. If you ask me, like, what's my favorite flavor when it comes to drinks and cakes and all types of things, I'm most likely going to tell you strawberry. So if you ever take some fun facts on Living Ash, strawberry is my favorite flavor. And I'm not going to lie, I don't know if it's my favorite scent as far as perfumes and body wash and stuff like that. But I think strawberry can be super fun when it's a body scrub or whatever. So with this one, I'm sure it smells just like the scrub, of course. Mmm, this one's pretty, guys. Oh yeah, strawberry is so good. I like that one, I really do. No, this one's really good. So I would say, I don't know, I'd say this is still number three for me because again, I'm not the huge, you know, uh, strawberry fan, but these are really, really nice and I'm grateful to have them. So if you are looking for the Tree Hut body wash, let me know, I think they're in Target. Um, I'm not sure about Walmart, but I would say try them out. They smell really nice and I will keep you guys updated on how they do in the shower and if they wash me well. <laughs> the other day I received the most exciting package. I think I just, it kind of reminded me why I love what I do so much. One, because I have such a passion for things that smell good and that make me feel good. Um, and just like being recognized by certain brands is just super cool. I got the brand new Valentino perfumes and I'm gonna tell you guys what I think about them. One, the bottles, okay? I wanna tell you guys the exact names of the fragrances as well. So here are the boxes. I couldn't wait for the video to like unbox them because honey, it, it was just too good. So this one is the Born in Roma Intent. I have the Valentino Born Aroma and the original scent is amazing hands down one of the best fragrances I have in my collection it was actually gifted to me from my mom for Christmas one year and that was a little before I started really getting into fragrances and perfumes and all that stuff and I've always 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 gotten compliments on the original Born Aroma so this one here the intense I decided to wear it out I love the bottle it's kind of like a grown and sexy version of the original the black just adds that mysterious vibe and I'm, I'm just obsessed but I will say I did wear it out to the movies the other night I wouldn't necessarily call it a date, you know, but it was something. And I went out and I got a compliment as soon as I stepped in the car. As soon, I didn't even get to put on my seatbelt yet. And I was already complimented and I was wearing this all over me. I have to say, it's one of those you're probably just gonna have to try out. 
as far as it you know being similar to the original it's much deeper it does smell similar but it has in, a, in my opinion it's a little sweeter to me but it is much more intense and I'm getting a lot more floral notes I mean I don't really know the notes off the top of my head but again if you get a chance, definitely try out the Born in Roma Intense. This right here, I was so excited to see because again, it's another grown sexy version. Um, it's giving stiletto heel, like, hello, like, I'm not a baby, I'm a grown woman, like, look at me and address me as such, okay? But I love this bottle, and this is a newer fragrance. This is the Valentino Umo, um, and this is another intense fragrance. Now, I was kind of like, okay, what's the difference? You know, I'm going to spray this on me now and see uh, what I like. Oh, and this one is coming off as a more intense, more masculine type fragrance. It's kind of cologne -y to me, honestly. And I wonder, I don't know, is this one? It says perfume. It's not a cologne. <laughs> it's kind of giving me a cologne vibe. Um, but for me, I realized that I kind of like unisex fragrances i kind of like fragrances that give me like my man could be wearing this i don't know something about them lasts a little longer and of course if you pair it with something really fruity and girly i feel like you could even mix these two these two are definitely going to be staples in my collection and they will get you complimented i'm i'm sure of that one because i've gotten compliments with it and i've smelled valentino fragrances on other people and i've complimented them right away let's get into another one that i was like so excited to get and unbox so one this fragrance i want to say is perfectly described because i just love the name replica mesa margella fragrances are some of my favorites and i'm telling you you need to smell this now i've seen honestly i've seen really good reviews about it and i've only seen like one person say they didn't really love it but I love it. I love it. I love it. And I have to tell you guys how I feel right now. Shout out to them for sending this to me. Because I get to come on here and tell you guys my honest, truthful review. So this is their new fragrance called On A Date. And the fragrance description is Grapes and Roses. I'm not going to lie to you. When I saw Grapes and Roses, I was a little bit like, what is it? Because I don't do grapes. And I kind of don't like rose scents. Just being honest. But I'm telling you right now, this is not what you think. I really love it. It is beautiful and the bottle, honey, just gorgeous. Now I'm a bubble bath girl. Like I love the fresh scents when the rain stops, um, sailing day. I love all of their beautifully put together fresh scents. But this is so unique and I, I just, I love it. Now I did wear it out one day and I will say I don't think the longevity was necessarily there. But I, I'm, a, I'm an oversprayer. I like to reapply my fragrances throughout the day. So that's not necessarily an issue for me. But I love the scent. I really do. And I'm happy to have this one. Mm, 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 mm. This is the perfect date night fragrance. And I'm, I'm going to tell you what's in my head right now. Because y'all can't read my mind. But I'm going to tell you exactly how I feel when I'm smelling this fragrance. I'm envisioning myself in a beautiful dress. It's a beautiful dress. Showing my figure. I look 10 out of 10, right? And I'm at a dinner. The restaurant is kind of like dim. The mood is set. I already got some roses for my date because it's a vibe, right? And then I'm having a red wine. Funny, because I always go for Moscato. <laughs> like, I'm a white wine girl. Um, but I'm having a red wine and some steak. And I'm just like, oh my goodness. The night is young. It's, it's just amazing. That is what this fragrance is giving me. And I think for people who love fragrances, that's important. Where you can actually see yourself somewhere with the fragrance because with fragrances they actually help to create memories you can actually lock in a moment in time um with the fragrance and that is so so cool and i think that's another thing why um you know i collect fragrances and i hold them some of them because some of them i don't like i'm like whatever i hold some of them very near and dear to my heart i was happy because i love replica candles replica candles are so pretty they almost make me not want to burn them i do buy a lot of candles for the aesthetics and not just because i want to burn them okay but i usually buy the bubble bath but look at the candle the candle is aesthetically pleasing it is just it goes anywhere in your house anywhere in your home wherever you want to put it it's beautiful it has a very very subtle light pink tint to it but it is just beautiful this is perfect for date nights in the house whatever 
on a date is 10 out of 10 and i love that replica if you did not know replica also has shower gels and body lotions um that was just something i wasn't hip to until i became like a huge fan of replica right now i'm like i smell too good another box i got from pr which is another new release that i have to share with you guys this brand i see a lot in like tj maxx and marshall's this is the lemon gourmand fragrances now they actually sent me their travel size set of the new fragrances this is called their le carnival collection and this is what it looks like on the little paper it comes with three new fragrances which are the secret de coton Le Soda Pop and uh, my, my Souffle. <laughs> I don't know. These are nice. I, I'm guessing these are going to give you that carnival vibe where you get buttery popcorn, fizzy soda, and airy cotton candy. I don't know if those are scents that I, I do know. I don't go for those types of scents. I'm not going to lie to y'all. But I will smell them right now and show you the bottles. You can see there are three new bottles. I'm guessing the yellow is the popcorn, the pink is the soda, and the blue is the cotton candy. So I think these will be really cute for the kids. But if you're really into those gourmand scents, baby, you do you, right? So I'm going to spray this. Mm, this isn't bad. Wow. Mmm. Hold on. I thought these were gonna be really like maybe childish smelling, kind of like younger. This one, oh goodness, I'm not sure how I feel about a popcorn perfume, but you know what, for y'all, I'm gonna smell it and let you know. Woo, yeah, that's giving buttery popcorn. I don't know if I wanna smell like that, um, but I do think it's a fun collection type thing to have, but I wouldn't wear this on a daily. Oh my goodness. <laughs> And then last one is the soda pop, which I'm like, I know some people do like the soda scents. Um, I believe Bath and Body Works had one that was released not too long ago and everyone loved it. So, ah, this one literally smells like Coke. Oh my goodness, Coca-Cola, because I feel like you can't say Coke. I don't know. So, my favorite one is the cotton candy, but if you like the Le Monde Gourmand fragrances, um, this is the new line they have, guys. So now that we've got all the new perfumes out the way, if you made it this far in the video, drop a little blue heart in the comments. Let me know that you're rocking with me. Let's do a little speed round. So Kiehl's sent me a package, and it comes with their signature body lotion. Uh, this I believe this was for Valentine's Day, and I'm just late to opening it. This one is the little hearts candy, which is cute. And oh my goodness, I love their butter mask for the lips. This is really pricey. It has coconut oil and wild mango butter cute and then what is this y'all is this a fragrance our original musk oil is believed to have been created in the 1920s it's labeled as the love oil and it's keel's signature scent interesting love that definitely interested look at this you guys i have never seen this i don't know if i just didn't go to keel's and like look for it but it's a fragrance i guess and Oh my gosh, I don't want to spray too much. Ooh, yeah, this is a musk oil. It's nice though, I like it. I mean, I don't know when I'll use this. I think sometimes, depending like where I'm going, if I want to smell like a musk type. But this is cool. Now I have a Kiehl's fragrance, love that for me. First sent me their new Beyond Smooth. This is the, I believe this is a body scrub. I love Verse products. I love their face cream as well. This is their new body scrub. Another brand I really love is Urban Skin RX. They sent me, this one is a three-in-one treatment that deep cleans pores and oily skin. So let's open that up. This is what it looks like. It's a cleansing bar, which is gonna be good because when I need to remove my makeup. And then next up we have, this is like a pore serum from Urban Skin RX. We have this box from Pixie, and I'm just gonna go through what's in it. So this is their Clarity Cleanser. This one looks like some sort of toner, right? It's their Clarity Tonic. Mm, this is a Clarity Concentrate, it's a clarifying serum. Clarity Lotion and a Zero Zit. I might be using the Zero Zit when the next bump comes on my face. Not that I'm trying to manifest that, but you know. And what I loved so much, you guys, I got this box from Fenty. This is their Super Bowl box. If you guys watched, Miss Rihanna herself performed at the Super Bowl this year. And there was like a limited edition box with all of this stuff. So this is like a beauty blender it looks like a makeup sponge i also got this hydra visor this is the invisible moisturizer oh i got the pro filter foundation love this i got a gloss bomb i love the fenty bombs oh my goodness which scent is this 
Ooh, this one is in Riri. Look at the color. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Yes, honey. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I'm so obsessed. I'm gonna wear this tonight. I got a new highlighter and what is this one? Ooh, the velvet liquid. Ooh. Are you serious? I don't know if you guys can even tell how dope this is. There's like a football right in there. Oh my gosh, you can open it and it looks like this. Look at that. Oh, you guys, no, this was the best. Thank you so much Fenty Beauty for this box. I have more Fenty, but I wanted to show you Way sent me this box and this is out right now. If you have dandruff dry scalp, I actually struggle with that myself. They have a new shampoo. Way is a great brand. I love Way products. So this is the anti-dandruff shampoo with 2% salicylic acid. And lastly, I wanted to share Laura Mercier finally sent me PR, you guys. Like, oh my gosh. Thank you, Laura Mercier. I got the cutest box. It says high vibe on it. And inside, you guys, I cannot. I cannot. I'm so excited. So I love a good lippy, all right? And look at this. There are so many new lippies in this collection. They have so many colors. Check this out, you guys. Look at all the colors. I can never run out of lip combos at this point. Like, what? Do you see that? So I'm gonna open one of them right now and just kind of see what the vibe is looking like. So it looks like this. Ooh, look at that. So these are the new Laura Mercier lippies and I am obsessed because me and Laura go way back, okay? <laughs> That's pretty much it for what's new in the stores right now. I hope that I was able to show you guys something that you're interested in. And I want you guys to let me know in the comments down below what's new for you. What have you seen that maybe I haven't? Um, are there any type of videos that you guys want to see for me in the future? I really want to be on here at least three to four times a week just talking and chatting with you all. So thank you so much for supporting me, my ride or dies. I love y'all, I love y'all, I love y'all. And I want you guys to take care, keep your head up, keep striving for greatness. If you're watching me right now, I'm gonna tell you something I know for a fact. You're bettering yourself, you care about your well-being, you love yourself, and you're trying your best every single day. And I love that so much, and I'm grateful for you. So thank you, thank you so much for being here. And of course, leave your mark in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. And give your comment a heart. I appreciate you so, so, so very much. Make sure you guys are following me on instagram at ash220 underscore and tiktok at livingash20 to keep up with me on my other social platforms i love y'all and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys